Hey, welcome back. It is Friday the 28th of October. Thanks for joining us. If you're brand new to this, come back on Fridays. There's a, a brand new video every week. Now, last week we talked about uh, the frequency range from 20 to 20,000 hertz and how a better way to kind of think of that is to break it up into octaves. And um, it ends up being that if you double the fundamental frequency every octave, then you'll go from basically 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. So one octave back from 20,000 hertz is 10K, then 5K, then 2, 2.5K, and 1K, and, and so on there. So if I was to sing an, an, uh, an A, uh, what that fundamental is, is around 100 hertz, actually 110 hertz. So if I was to put it through a spectrum analyzer like this, it would look like this. I've already recorded it. Let's have a listen. Uh, so there's our fundamental frequency, which is 110 hertz. But what's all the rest of this stuff? I didn't sing all these, all these other notes. I just sang just, just that one note, right? Well, all of that other stuff are the overtones or the harmonics of my voice. And it gives me my character of my voice. I mean, have you ever stopped to th think, why is my voice, my A1, different than Celine? Oh, well, she can sing in <laughs> Celine Dion, she can sing in on key for a start. But I mean, different than your A1, and a nylon string A1, and a piano, and a xylophone, and a French horn. Why do they all, even though this, they're, they're playing the same fundamental, why do they sound different? It's because of that fingerprint of all of those harmonics. And harmonics have a really, really cool mathematical um, uh, thing going on in terms of their relationship to the fundamental. We said before that octaves double. Every time you go up an octave, it doubles. So an octave above uh, A1, let's just round up to 100 hertz because the math will be easy. So 100 hertz, an octave above would be 200 hertz. An octave above that would be 400, then um, 800 then 1.6K, then 3.2K. So everything would double as you go up. But here's a really cool thing about harmonics. Harmonics have a mathematical uh, relationship to the fundamental, but they are multiples. So instead of them, the octaves being double, there are harmonics that are multiples. So it would go 100, 200, that's the same as octaves, right? But then instead of doubling there, it goes 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, and so on. So harmonics are multiples of the fundamentals. Octaves are exponential doubling. So why is this important? I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, compare that to a... I just brought up a sine wave that um, is just a pure tone doing the same thing that I... Uh, playing the same note that I just did. Now look at that, fundamental only. There ain't nothing to the, to, to the right of that. So f uh, pure tones have just the fundamental, but if you're any kind of rich instrument, and the more rich you get, the more rich you, you are in overtones, the more of those multiples that, um, uh, uh, that, uh, that will be added to that, that fundamental. Uh, your nasal cavities, your, um, uh, your throat, uh, your teeth, I mean, everything uh, adjusts the character. The character of your, of your voice is because of all that resonant chamber of your head in the same way that, uh, you know, really fine timbers in a guitar will give that resonant uh, um, uh, chamber the, the character of that particular guitar. So there are other things that make, make harmonics. Any kind of distortion will start to add some harmonics. Heck, ugh, two, two amps like this. Can you believe I made this? My brother down in uh, South Australia has a, um, a website called Valve Heaven where he puts together these kits and teaches people how to put this together. Very pretty on the top and it's just made out of like a brownie tray here, like a baking tray. And then all this stuff down the bottom. I can't believe I made this with a handful of you know transistors and resistors and these tubes right here. But the cool thing about these tubes is that when you start to overdrive tubes, they start to throw off all these very yummy uh, uh, harmonics. And 
if you've read anything about um, uh, tube amps and boy, is it, I mean, there's a whole kind of almost religion in that in that area. Um, you hear a lot of people saying, well, it's all, it's all about the even order harmonics versus the odd order harmonics. And I've heard that you know, my whole life. People say, well, it's, you know, it's so much, you know, smoother with the even order harmonics. And I'm kind of like, okay, I, I can parrot that to somebody else and, and say, yeah, it's all about the even. But unless I understand it, I, I really, that kind of bugs me. And so there is some very cool math involved uh, in here in terms of how even order harmonics fall within musical scales that we know and love. We know things that are in tune and we know things that are out of tune. And even order harmonics actually fall within musical intervals that we that we really, really like. There's so much math here. God is an amazing mathematician because I don't know where else all this math would come from. That's just my personal opinion. But you know what I mean? This It just floors me. That there's just so much math. The length of a string, you know, where where the um, uh, where the seventh fret is, and where so where your fifth is, where your fourth is, all of this is just mathematical equations that we perceive as being in tune. It's just very cool. Anyway, next week we will talk about uh, exactly why even order harmonics you know sound better than odd order harmonics, and you'll finally be able to say that with confidence. <laughs> knowing the reasoning behind it. Anyway, I hope this one uh, was informative to you. Harmonics are part of your fingerprint of your sound. Sure, you have your fundamental, fundamental, but unless you sing in sine waves, uh, you will have all of these overtones there. And, um, uh, and you also, you can generate that, you know, with effects, with saturation, with compression, with a, a ton of things that we do to mangle <laughs> the sound, throw off a lot of, a uh, lot more harmonics to make the sound a lot more rich. Hope you enjoyed it. Make it a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.